Take the last stanza. Sets the soul that does it free. Every deed of love and mercy done to man is done to me. Never more thou needest seek me. I am with thee everywhere. Raise the stone and thou shalt find me. Cleave the wood and I. And I dream so be one on our day, Eradia. Let's thank God for bringing us into his presence. Let's thank God for keeping the church, bringing the church to 30 years. It has just been by the goodness of God. Pesu be one on our day, Radia, Sempre Radi, Edewa Banenasi, and Embraceo, Ewe Yesu Christo Dean. Father, tonight we thank you. Father, we bless your name. We exalt you. We magnify your holy name. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for strengthening the church. Even these past 30 years, Father, we are accord all the thanks and all the praise unto you for indeed lord we know that it has just been by your doing it has just been by your works oh god and we exalt your name thank you for life thank you for strength thank you abba father we give you glory in the name of the lord jesus so be one on our Sarah. This is one from so be a way be a a brow up and in him no one can say and fan chain. Yes, and it's a BBI a barber or Hano and Yen Kunim D and Seni Din Concono and no Yam. Oh, yes, to Christo Ding. Father, we humble ourselves before you and we plead your mercy tonight that as we have come into your presence, we pray that you wash us. We pray that you cleanse us in the name of the Lord Jesus. We pray that you cleanse us in the name of the Lord Jesus. That whatever we do here will be to your glory and to your honor in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus and finally we want to pray into tonight's session we are praying that we will live here blessed we are praying that God who grants understanding God who grants wisdom we are praying that tonight may he grant us understanding may he grant us wisdom even as the speaker speaks we are praying that let the wisdom of God be conveyed through him in the name of the Lord Jesus. As as we as he speaks, let let the wisdom of God come forth. Ye bompai as they say, yami ankasa endi ne. Ye de ni a oba be kasa a train e say yami sasa ono ankasa yami enfani sona oni e enkasa na bibi biara enwe enkunimdi ense ni din konkone ni yam in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, we commit everything into your hands. We pray that, Lord, you come and have your way. Come and have your way. Come and speak to us in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you and we adore you in the name of Jesus. We are praying. And to our Lord and our King, we thank you so much for this evening. We thank you for keeping the church for the past 30 years. Lord, it's just been by your goodness and it's just been by your mercy. We pray into tonight's meeting that, Lord, you come and have your way. We pray that you come and take control. And, Lord, we pray that you bless us before we leave here. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Yes, it is. Baby, I have to be a friend of RPV now. I have my praises and adoration.
Yes, it is. Please, let's be on our feet as we.
You are so kind, God. You, oh God, you are wonderful, God. You are wonderful, my Lord. You, excellent is thy name. Excellent is thy name. Oh my God, excellent is thy power. You are wonderful, God. You are wonderful, my Lord. You are the purpose of gathering tonight. Jesus is alive. Bacho, sing him off one in a waha. Sing him mine. Quacko calls and Bacho Kai Mammy. Many biddy are biddy. Sing it a bind. Mahu three. Four. Okay. Qua. Qua. Qua two. Brigade. Brigade. Uh -huh. Brigade 10. Uh, Christ Settle Band. You're winning the number. Oh, well. 12, women do 30. Men's fellowship. Hey. Hey. Eh. Hey. Suma, suma. Suma 12. Oh, any Miniska. MJF. Hey. MJF 11. Guild. Guild two. Oh, Meneska. Guild four. MYF. <laughs> Make sure someone can quick Kukosa. Hey. 
18. RPV. RPV. Zero. But you can a software waha. Aya fire yer no kam. Umu tu say me 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 steward. Anya so fulu ke jana super tia. Are ango class three. Ena e ifo e ya kaku ba ku. Aha, women's fellowship. Hey, that's your boy. No, no. Twenty. I'm going to do thirty. Yo. Yes, you see, I say. I found a say rapture. Eh, uh, say ye be ponso a ne a cheke ne a dabaranse ne a tibi efu ne a dibi a shem. Na mi shira yin na. Ebe shafu e de radia si ne nyumiri insubium. Eh, resurrection as a free in a thirty years. Na ne say inti ye kai e hon e wo thirty years baby anya midi a bedroom. Na enumu ena asafone hunu se nkofo mi nu a wo mo edi akotene efri eh asafono infiti asie ene ye papa the very reverend professor emeritus joseph osei ene ye papa emmanuel o ye papa joseph osei na oye the first minister e no Eba so mehwa asafu iso obedi djuma bibiri ene ebete ne hon seme hunu ne contributions ene a few other things ene ye papa eh Emmanuel O enso the first caretaker ah ohwema sori se ye wo Roman for school muho ye ye ya ne de enya asase ne ehon sem bibiri ene nti ye de memorial lecture yi ato ye papa no mienu se ye jina omo ne paso na ye tu ye hofo ama eh etirima asua se se method is asafo e be kwa enima ye hia se eh professional se wo omo mo nimde e omo ko school wo nimde ni nyansa ho do a e wo e ya sori ma no omo ye major resource developmenta ye hia e be boa ma asafo na nyi asafo na nsu be nyi a ne mananti ne maba wa ye yi omo firi ma enye yi inti sani ma mienu e ne ye dwen ho with the aim say eh methodist church ghana e betumi atumpon ene inti e na nyumire ye hia se ye be dwen dwen sansam mienu ana se a e ka boma e be si mien so ama bibia akon ka inti ye wa ha na e ye ye 30th anniversary e ho enkra ta bi enkra ba ta bi e na anyumire ye hia mu se ye de radia se wo ho na megidi se wo ma ya chese se o nyam be form so nso no e be inshira ama menu mienu nyina e radi di mu nti amen chairman o yem boy in same kakfai ti senya sofo bo ama kan na chese e be hia notebooks pens e na bibibia e be boa o ma wakai nya e ba be kosi na Speaker, no me anka sa de mean to me introduce no. Na nipa ye si si ni se o introduce speaker no. Eye yem brother Paul lie to your banawa be ye introduction no. A to yem fan sambo in shian. Yes, Tiasi. Yes, Tiasi. Yes, we hear ka. This evening we are all welcome so we are celebrating 30 years and as a church we have decided to expand on the theme harnessing the benefits of professionals and young people in the Methodist Church Ghana towards a mature future if we want to see 30 more years as a church it is prudent that 
we look at this topic and di and dissect it. And the person who is going to help us dissect this all important topic is the CEO of Cosmos School and Paradigm Microcredit Services. He's a circuit steward and he's in charge of education in the Methodist Church. He's a youth development enthusiast. He's the finance director, African Methodist Youth Movement. He's a class leader and a lay preacher. With a round of applause, let us welcome Dr. George Ijekum Nana Donko. Brother Michael Nati. Sorry, Brother Michael Nati. For a short period, I was a doctor. Jesus is alive. The superintendent minister of the dental circuit other ministers of the gospel, distinguished guests, brothers and sisters. I am deeply impressed by the decision of this society to honor the person, the work, and the memory of its foremost leaders. The first minister, Reverend Professor Joseph Osei, and its first administrator, Brother Emmanuel O. The gesture touches me personally because it is a very profound Christian endeavor you have really embarked upon. The Apostle Paul, after writing the theologically loaded book of Hebrews, rounds it up with some exhortation and says to us readers, remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God, consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith, Hebrews 13, 7. And so this memorial lecture fulfills scripture. You are remembering your leaders, and you are considering the outcome of their lives, and you are imitating their faith. The word remember is used 352 times in the Bible, only 13 short of 365 days. But if you add other variants and synonyms for remember, then it is used 550 times. There are far more enough mentions for us to use one of it every day, like the way doctors recommend us to take vitamin C capsules. People of God, our God loves those who are able to remember. In fact, when you look at it carefully, the main reason Jesus told his disciples that he would be sending the Holy Spirit was so that, quote, he will remind you of everything I have said to you, unquote. Fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, if you have a heart that remembers God and his people, you have the Spirit of God living in you. And this memorial lecture forcefully imprints in my mind that this society has the spirit of God living in it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If God were to ever have any fear, it would be that his people easily forget. The entire book of Deuteronomy was dedicated to constant exhortations, warnings, and even pleadings from God through Moses to the people of Israel to remember where they came from, who they came with, where they were going, and the God that had given them his laws. And yet, despite the many warnings, God's people forgot these things to disastrous consequences of sin and rebellion. But this society, this identity society, I think it's resurrection, eh? Has not forgotten, and for that, we can expect a fruitful consequences of obedience and blessings. On a more personal note, I thank God that I'm here today because I was here when the MYF of this society was inaugurated. That's 25 years ago. 
and I was then the chairman of the Accra Diocese, meaning I have been part of the activities of this society. I'm here again to commemorate the beginning and the beginners of this society. And so I feel that God has honored me in letting me live, not only to see this day, not only to attend this occasion, but to add even more honor in chairing it. And for that, I thank him and the organizers of this gesture. The theme for this evening's occasion is harnessing the benefits of professionals and young people in the Methodist Church towards a matured church. Of course, we have an excellent choice of speaker. And because he is an excellent choice, part of my responsibility as a chairman is to act as John the Baptist and prepare the way for him. After that, I will decrease into my seat and he will increase into this podium. The church is a spiritual organism, but the word spiritual has a tendency in Ghana to conjure images of something ethereal, something out of this world. And while this is true, the word spiritual is also very, very practical. Listen carefully to what God told Moses when he directed him to build a tabernacle in Exodus chapter 31, 3 to 5. I have filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship to devise skillful works to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in cutting of stones for setting and for carving of wood to work in all manner of workmanship. So spiritual people are practical people. They are not people with their heads in heaven. They are also, they are not only people with their heads in heaven. They are also people with their feet on the ground. They are practical people. Um, I want all of us to say after me again, spiritual people are practical people. Go. And when you practice something for a long time, then you become a professional. Therefore, spiritual people are professional people. It is easy for us to say, like the Bible says, that Solomon was the one who built the temple. And yes, he did. But it is also easy for us to forget or neglect to acknowledge in the same Bible in Chronic, 2 Chronicles chapter 2, verse 1 to 18, that this work which he took seven years needed a scale of 70,000 men to work transporting materials and 80,000 to work quarrying stone. There were 3,600 others responsible for supervising the work. Who were these men? They were professional craftsmen. They were young people. Spiritual people are skilled people. Repeat after me. Spiritual people are skilled people. In my final illustration, I want to remember who Moses is. This man sparked the beginning of miracles in the Bible. God did things through him. That is hard for even some Christians to believe. He covered the whole country with frogs, whole farm lives with locusts, a hugely vital river. He turned it into blood, and he parted the Red Sea for 600 men to cross it within approximately six hours. A very spiritual man, you will say, but when it came to administering justice, when it came to actually governing the people, he was failing. He was spending his entire days settling disputes, giving judgments, and providing direction in the daily lives of more than a half a million people. And very little progress was being made. It took Jethro, a priest, and his father-in-law to give him a simple advice and to turn the governor system of Israel around. Jethro counseled Moses to select capable men from all the people, men who fear God, trustworthy men who hate dishonest gain, and appointed them as officials over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. Exodus 18, 21. And the advice Jethro gave to Moses, he gives to the Methodist Church, Ghana. Thank you. At this juncture, we we'll invite Professor um, Clement Apa to introduce the distinguished guest speaker to us, Prof.
Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, you have to do something, otherwise, I will introduce him. So, if there is a seat in front of you, please move forward. Sir, fill the seat in front of you. Everybody, keep moving till there's no space in front of you. But you say, Kwan wo wenyi ma, bro wenyi m. Kesi de ubi ane nyi mo kwan in the hall. Oh, those here, please move. Auntie Stella, pacha kacha unko for ni asa misi umu moving bro wenyi. That mumbra mo wenyi, mumbra mo mehu no. The poka sa nanga sa wenyi, oh haru bumu wenyi. Wamba mazene mbra. Uh, hurry up, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh. Oh, one bra, one bra. MYF and WYF. And WF, women's relationship work and then WF. One bra, one bra, one bra. Speak and anger so our hands will boom win. If we are in Legono, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure you don't get your degrees if you don't come forward. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Um, it's a, a singular honor to introduce the speaker for this evening. Um, I've known him since 1995 when I first arrived in Legon. He had then finished his first degree, finished his law school, and he was a proper lawyer, but he was still on campus. And even though he was a lawyer in town, he was still the leader of the deliverance team of Methodist Presby Union, MPU. And so uh, he was also leading us in prayer. And so when we went to the field, we were doing pay, 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 pay. Can you say that after me? Pay, pay, pay. Uh -huh. That tells you he's a prayer warrior himself. Um, so I'm going to divide this in a way that will make sense. So we learned a lot from him because he was a proper Christian leader for us. And everybody, every Christian leader in the 90s on campus looked up to him. Um, during that time, I got opportunity to go with him to Senior Breku to do, to do an outreach. He had started this outreach thing many years earlier and to date, there are people here in this Resurrection Methodist Church who go out every Easter to go and do missions. And he is the leader of our missions group. <laughs> so if every Easter you don't see Josiah and Tiamensia and the rest of us, it's because we are on the mission field. Um, in the Methodist Church, he is a son from the manse. He's also for back. Reverend, Reverend, very Reverend J.M. Donko of blessed memory. And he became the legal advisor of the Methodist Church. So he's a former uh, uh, lawyer for the Methodist Church. Shall we put our hands together for him? <laughs> he worships at the Ebenezer Methodist Church, Community 8. I'm not even sure whether it's 18 or 20, but I think it's 20. Yeah, Community 20. He is a leader there, and he leads everything. The last time I went, he was leading them in harvest. It was a mini harvest, and they had over one million cities. After that, we'll talk about it later on. But when it comes to his work life, he started as a magistrate and progressed. And then he left the legal profession and joined ARB Apex Bank as company secretary. From there, he went to ECOWAS Bank for Investment and Development. And he was there to vice president in charge of administration and for about seven years. And now he's the president for ECOWAS Bank for Investment and Development. 
Please note, I'm not talking about EcoBank. He so all the ECOWAS countries, the 16 countries, our bank, he is the president. It sounds like a thesis, right? Yes. In terms of education, he did first degree law at Legon and then did the, uh, the Mokola. He went to Mokola. Then he came back to do an MBA at Legon. Then he did a PhD, and now he has done a D Doctor of Business Administration, DBA. So as for degrees, he's, he's like a thermometer, right? He has a lot of degrees. <laughs> All right. So I've said about Methodist Church, I've said about his work life, but he sits on many, many boards. And one thing I want to say is that he has transformed ECOWAS Bank for Investment and Development from where it was to now, is it AA rated? Rated very highly. And he has won many awards. He's a, a council member of the University of Ghana. He's an adjunct lecturer at UDS. And he sits on ECOWAS, ECOWAS Transnational. Uh, the group that owns EcoBank, EcoBank Transnational, he sits on that. So there is so much we can say about him. As for our words, please take time to go and read from ECOWAS Bank for Investment and Development, EBIT. If you write, a, there's so much you can read. But the most important thing is that he understands that he is an SSG, sinner saved by grace. Amen. He understands his calling, and he is a Methodist through and through. He's a Methodist. And today we invite him to come and speak to us. And it's important that he is addressing this because as a professional, he has served the Methodist Church. As a professional, he has led us as young people to do the work of ministry. And uh, as a Methodist, he has lived the life of the Methodist, knowing that the world is our, the whole world is our parish. So, yes, it is. Jesus is alive. Join me to welcome to the podium Dr. George Ajekum Nana Donko. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Good. There is nothing that we have that has not been given to us. And all glory and all praise belong to God. Amen. Had it not been the grace of God, we wouldn't have come that far. So we owe everything to him. Let me also start by appreciating the leadership of this church, the minister, the you know, other ministers, the, the leadership of the church for inviting us to be part of this celebration. Indeed, it's you know, an event worth celebrating. Uh, as the chairman rightly indicated, it is important for us sometimes to look back and see where the Lord has taken us from. And I believe that this event is a step in the right direction. Amen. So I bring you also greetings from the Ebenezer Methodist Church, Community 20, Lachibi. Our church is very close to the motorway. That's where we worship. And um, I've heard a lot about Resurrection Methodist. A lot. And maybe today, as I present, I may come out some of the things that I've heard about you. This is a very, very, uh, very, very significant church. Because the last time I was here, they were having a um, commission of ministers, a commission of new ministers. Is this commission or ordination? I've forgotten one of them. And there were, I had a friend who was commissioned into the Methodist ministry. So that brought me here. And in the Methodist church, if a chapel or if a church is selected for commissioning or ordination, it means that it's a very, very important church. So take note of that. Our church is there. Manzayon Methodist Church, Sakumono. Uh, Joel Methodist Church, Dansumaya, Mount, uh, Olivet. These are very, very, very important churches uh, within the connection. And I want to commend you and congratulate you on this. It is a great achievement for you to host commission of ministers here. God bless you. Shall we pray? So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit our lives into Almighty hand and care. The Bible said that the entrance of your word bring it forth light. So speak to us. In a very clear voice tonight, let your word come with great intensity and extensity. 
Let your word come with great conviction. And above all, let your word come with great power. I ask all these things in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Harnessing the benefits of professionals in the Methodist Church Ghana towards a mature and youthful church. I'm say, country number four from Prof, Prof, way. Prof, way. Yeah, I just say, Prof, what you're I'm say, we're fine. The Methodist Church Ghana is one of the oldest and most respected Christian denominations in the country. Among the Methodist and Wesleyan sisters churches in the world, the Methodist Church Ghana is held in a very high esteem. Coming from a tradition that is deeply stepped in scripture, guided by reason and spiritual experience, the church has gone through various phases and has thrived through thick and thin. Methodist Church Asono, I work Ghana, a Sodia. A boom, papa, 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 papa. Na ya na ya can better is some slabo. Mama yam fan compare what my church is different. Who a new tena ya na is a regulated church. Take note of that. The Methodist Church Ghana is a regulated church. And ya sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not even black. You cannot just stand up and do anything at all in the Methodist Church. It's difficult. A new tena ma yam development ya na a channel. We cannot progress quickly or easily because of all the structures that we have in place. Those of us in the banking sector, we have some regulators. In the commercial banks in Ghana, the regulator is the central bank, the Bank of Ghana. So it means that all your activities are regulated. If you go to any establishment which is not regulated, things are different. And within a sebe sebe, yem yanum deserve. In the Methodist Church, every quarter auditors are there. So we call other churches, there is no auditor. So I'm saying that the church is regulated. And because of that, to bring transformation is not easy. And there is, that is the reason we need to be very patient with the church. Because it's a regulated church. The theme you have chosen for this occasion is very significant. Due to the fluid nature of change in our society and the need for professionals to contribute their, their quota to help fulfill the Great Commission mandate. I believe that this theme that you have chosen for this celebration is significant because it calls for all professionals together in this church to contribute their quota to the advancement of God's work. Some of the celebration, 30th anniversary, in Yapa, if you say we are coming together as professionals, who are professionals? We are professionals in our individual's callings and vocations. But be a, we are a professional. Tell yourself that I'm a professional. Say to yourself, I'm a professional. The former is a professional. The teacher is a professional. The lecturer is a professional. The doctor is a professional. I mean, the trader is a professional. So all of us here are professionals today. And so we need to contribute our quota significantly towards the advancement of the church. So you cannot say as a media, many lecturer, many lawyer, many doctor, you are a professional. Whatever vocation that you find yourself, you're a professional. Except those who are stealing, they are not professionals. But whatever you have doing, you are a professional. Take note of that. The theme is harnessing the benefits of professionals in the Methodist Church towards a mature and a youthful church. It's a timely pursuit. Obviously, one of the major challenges confronting the Methodist Church gala today is exodusing of our youth to other churches that seem to have provided systems for meeting both their, uh, uh, their existential and spiritual needs. Michese, Adia Baku and Methodist Ghana. I actually got my and said, a number of our youth have left the church. This was more profound during the 1980s and 90s. I believe, sir, those of you who recall, in the 1980s and 90s, when the charismatic churches began to spring up, 
most of the youth just left the church. They left the church. Not because they are for anything somewhere different. Because the changes that were coming from the charismatic churches met their needs. As simple as that. Take note. Those churches are not spiritual than the Methodist church. Take note of that. They try to design strategies to meet the needs of the youth. And that is why most of the youth left. I remember those days we were at the university. And we were fighting the lodges in the church those days. I remember Ken Bans, Jacob Osei Yebua. We were fighting the lodges. Say, so whoever wants to belong to the lodges should not be a leader of the church. The two are different. Hallelujah. And today, let me also advise. The Bible says, let your year be yea and your name be nay. You cannot be a Christian here and go here. It is not possible. And so we fought during those days that the leadership of the church should be excluded. Or, I mean, or the Lord's, Lord's members should be excluded from the leadership of the church. I believe in those days. When a number of the youth were leaving the church, we decided to stay. Amen. The Methodist Church Ghana has rich history, which indicates the professionals have been part of the establishment and the growth since its infant years. Mercy can be made of Kesri Hereford. Take note, Kesri Hereford, a Gold Coast barrister, politician, and a staunch Methodist who contributed immensely to the revival activities of the church in the 1990s. Sorry, in the 1900s, sorry, 1900. To date, there are professionals from a wide range of fields, such as education, law, business, finance, medicine, agriculture, photographers, and, and sound uh, technicians, videographers, and many others who contribute to serve the church in various capacities through the connection. What is hard about novel and most essential about the chosen theme is the call for us to be intentional at focusing our professional expertise on the young people in the Methodist Church, Ghana, with the purpose of helping them to mature in Christ and be well prepared for the corporate world as well. Now, having said that, I want to come out with six benefits, six important points, which are the benefits that professionals in the church uh, can, can bring together towards a mature and youthful church. And the first point is knowledge and expertise. Knowledge and expertise. One of the key benefits of having professionals in the Methodist Church Ghana is the wealth of knowledge and expertise they bring to the table. Professionals such as professionals in the field such as medicine, law, and education have spent many years honing their skills and acquiring specialized knowledge that can be incredibly valuable. To the church. For example, a doctor in the church can provide valuable insight and advice on health issues affecting the congregation, while a lawyer can offer legal, legal advice on matters such as property rights and contracts. By tapping into the expertise of these professionals, the Methodist Church Ghana can provide better support and guidance to its members and address their needs more effectively and efficiently. This, in turn, can help build a stronger, more resilient church community that is better equipped to face the challenges of the modern world. So the first point is knowledge and expertise. That's the first benefits that professionals bring on board. Number two, innovation and growth. Innovation and growth. Another benefit of having professionals in the Methodist Church Ghana is the potential for innovation and growth. Professionals are often innovative thinkers who can bring fresh ideas and perspectives to the church. For example, a business professional in the church may be able to develop new strategies for raising funds or managing resources more efficiently. Similarly, an educator may have innovative ideas for improving Sunday school programs of youth or youth outreach initiatives. I made mention of knowledge and expertise, my first point. Number two is innovation and growth. And here, the point I'm raising is that professionals are very innovative in their thinking. Unfortunately, in the Methodist Church, the, 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 I mean, the mistake we make sometimes is that 
when it comes to certain initiatives, we don't allow the professional to take over. Even sometimes the way we appoint leaders is wrong. Because somebody can just, you know, is very influential. Somebody is influential in the church. That doesn't mean that that person should be elected or appointed a leader of the church. When it comes to maybe steward administration, we must convince ourselves that the person who is being appointed has knowledge of administration. You don't just put somebody as steward administration when he doesn't know anything about administration. Sasa? That is French. Is that so? If somebody doesn't have knowledge in a particular form, don't force yourself in that form. Please. Leadership. Leadership. The, 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 the bane of Africa is leadership. The bane of the church is leadership. We need lead, no, I mean, leadership in the church, in the family, in the nation. Leadership. If you look at the way some of the churches are growing, it's not because they are spiritual, but because of leadership. Amen. At least, I know some of the men of God in Ghana here, they don't, they don't appear too spiritual as, as we may think, but they are good leaders. Leaders, leadership. You, you may, I, I, pass, I don't know, but I'm sure some ministers have come here, some leaders have come here, some of them came to collapse the church. Leadership. Some of them also came to grow the church. About right? Leadership. That is what we need. When you have the right leadership, things will change totally. Let me cite an example of my bank, the Ecowas Bank for Investment and Development. We had what we call speculative rating, speculative. B minus and C minus. By God's grace, I took over in 2020 as the president of the bank. Within a space of two years, in the midst of COVID, Ukraine was what we called back to back external shocks. You are aware. COVID 19, the war in Ukraine, in the recent one is Gaza. They are all called back to back you know, external shocks. It affects the economy. Because all these things have fueled inflation and increased the cost of energy and food everywhere. But in the midst of this, we have upgraded ourselves. Now we are B2 with positive outlook by Moody's and Fish ratings. Leadership. Let me say it again. Leadership is a privilege to better the lives of others and not an opportunity to satisfy personal greed. I repeat. Leadership is a privilege to better the lives of others and not an opportunity to satisfy personal greed. Take note of that. So here, if you are a women's fellowship leader, men's fellowship leader, count yourself, no, bless, to serve. Serve. It's not for personal aggrandizement, but for service. Let's take note of that. And so we are saying that innovation and growth, please, do not underestimate the capacity of the youth, of the professional, to bring about innovation and growth. If we keep on doing the same things, we shouldn't expect you know, a different result. Take note of that. If you keep on doing the same thing every day, don't expect a different result. And let me say it again. Tradition is the worst enemy of civilization. Take note of that. Tradition is the worst enemy of civilization because it has no regard for current knowledge. Even in research, the professor will tell you, if your research was done in 2000, you should know that by now it may not be relevant because other researchers might have come on board. And so when I was doing my Doctor of Business Administration, the school that I did, if you are citing any article, they don't want something after 2010. It should come from 2015 because of current research. Hallelujah. So I don't sit here and say tradition, tradition. Go to, the, no, the, I mean they call it First Street, London. Recently I went there and I went to see the grave of uh, John uh, uh, and John Wesley and Susanna Wesley. How many of you have been to that side before? You have been there. You call it the old street. You see John Wesley lying there as the words. The one who composed when I surveyed the wonders called. They are all there. They are all there. 17 oh. So you cannot say that what we started, 17 oh should still be relevant today. Please open yourself up for innovation and growth. Innovation. Professor was telling you about. The kind of you know, innovation we have brought on board in my church to raise funding. To be honest with you, last year, today's what? Um, in March, the end of year harvest. 
When we left there, we had 1.5 million Ghana cities, cash and checks. Our place, we don't take any pledges. You can ask anybody. Ebenezer Methodist Church, we don't take pledges. That place, we don't do how many people are bringing uh, 10 cities. Uh, we want 10 people to bring 10 cities. We have stopped that thing many years ago. I don't know whether you are still doing it here. If you are doing it here, on this 10th anniversary, you have to stop it. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. Michael, let me tell you. This one, you can verify. In my church, in my church, we take only one offering. One offering. Whatever you have purpose in your heart, come and give. Let us stop. How many people will bring 20? This is an old and a cake method. A cake method. And it's just a waste of time. To be honest with you, I don't think why, I mean, sorry, I don't see why we should be spent four hours in church. It's not, it's not necessary. I am telling you. We, it's not necessary. We can spend only two hours effectively and efficiently. But all this, uh, we want about 10 people to give us 1,000 Ghana cities. And the people, we are not doing shows here. In the house, we, we are not doing shows. We are not displaying wealth. But people who have been touched by God to give. Please, let us learn to be, become good Christians in every endeavor. So that we don't, let us and stop this mediocrity. Some people want to be worshipped in the church. They want to be worshipped. They want to be worshipped in the church. I don't know whether you are here to serve God or you are here to please human beings. If that is your mind, then it's better you change your mind on this 30th anniversary. I'm telling you. So we are talking about innovation and growth. That's the third point. The third point, exposure and creativity. One of the benefits that professionals bring on board. Exposure and creativity. Professionals are usually better placed to experience other models of practical theological approaches to ministry. In their travels and their honoring of invitation to give professional speeches or training to people within our congregations, they get to witness more efficient ways others have adopted for enhancing their ministries. For this reason, professionals usually have diverse perspectives and richer understanding regarding better ways of integrating novel ideas into all systems to make ministry more culturally relevant and stimulate spiritual vitality at the same time. The world is changing at a very fast. The world is changing at a very fast pace. The old wine skin of unjusted structures and systems cannot hold the view of the required cosmetic modification that suits the culture of modern day youth. If you recall, in the eighties. A number of us were not dancing in church. We were not clapping their, I mean, our hands. And the mistake the church made was that if they had allowed the youth to dance in the church and clap their hands, they would have all stayed in the church. I am telling you, the dancing and all those things didn't add anything to spirituality. But that was the order of the day. We should have allowed them. Some of them have gone and they have come back like, oh, we made a mistake. But some of them have also stayed. So we are saying that we cannot continue to do the old things that we used to do. No. N not at all. We cannot continue, or we, no, if we continue to be, you know, to, to go by tradition, we become victims of stagnation. If you keep on you know, praising tradition, you become victims of stagnation. Things have changed. Things have changed totally. Every, no, now everything is on, on the internet. Go to Google. You, got, you get everything. Those days, when we were judges, when I was a judge, we didn't have the computer. It was this old one. Ta, 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 ta. Now it's computer. So things have changed. Mama, no, and it might change it. What does here? I change it. And it's not because you're not working. It will not work. I am not saying that we should throw away tradition. That is not the point I'm making. That is not the point I'm making. But we need to also open up and embrace innovations. So I'm talking about exposure and expertise. And you may be change it. Yeah? If by God's grace you get exposed to many things, I've been saying it's a Ghana for your cross for the power. Your cross for the papa papa papa. Yeah, now I brought for the moment as I say, hey, now we cross for the bear four hours, five hours. Then your lives are also the same. Can you imagine? You have been spending four hours in church, but the lifestyle is also the same. You have been tears here. 
You have to be called all nice, many times all nice. But you realize that it's not adding any serious value to our Christian lives and growth. There's a problem. By God's grace, I worship with Foundry United Methodist Church in Washington some time ago. It was um, Palm Sunday. And the worship took just one hour. Dr. Joanna, for the one hour, everything was included. When they finished, I went with my wife. We were standing there. I, I said, I'm I'm so here. Hey, Papa, brother, one hour. When they finished one hour, they went and then took tea. All of them went to drink tea. One hour, everything. Found the United States Church. It's very close to White House. But that is where Clinton and his wife worshipped. I'm telling you. One hour pair. And you to be I saw them at five hours here. Six hours. Yeah, yeah, sorry. You will see you're quite the same. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So there is a mismatch. That's a problem. We spend many hours in church. And yet our lives have never been transformed. So ask yourself. Please, from today, on this special occasion, I want to announce to all of us, let us begin to practice the word of God. Very important. The Bible says the hour is coming, and now is the hour when true worshippers shall worship the Father in truth and in spirit. The dancing and the prayer is not the issue. The Christ-like life is the most important thing. The Christ-like life. Obrao bono. Obrao bono here. Sing my no dear. Everyone come be bia. Class it by. You say the more people who pray. Class it by. Now we have no one. We have no one. Now we have no one. Baby, God, you have to 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 have those things are not the end, no, the, 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 the end, the means to the end. That's the point. No. Your, Christ, your life as a Christian, the Christ-like life. The Bible said, oh, in the first book, oh, Tephalos, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and to teach. Amen. In the book of Ezra, 7.10, the Bible said, for Ezra set up his heart to study the law of the Lord, to practice it, and to teach his status unto the house of Israel. If you will not be saved in the Methodist church here, when you go to Assemblies of God, you will not be saved. Take note of that. If you will not be saved in the Resurrection church here, when you go to Pentecost, you will not be saved. Because there is no church anywhere, no good church anywhere, no bad church anywhere. It's the life of the people in the church. I mean, oh, I don't know whether today I'm preaching or I'm even lecturing. About your you be brave. You come meetings. Be brave. You 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 be You be You how can you live a class and make cook prayer meeting with Kumasi? That means you don't know your God. Amen. Hey, you can stand here with the Lordship and pray. God will hear your prayer. It depends on your relationship with God. Amen. So on this 30th anniversary, stop going from one person to the other. Serve your God and serve Him well. John chapter 17, verse 3. And this is life eternal, that they may know Him, the only true God. And Jesus Christ, whom, whom he has sent. That is all. Apostle Paul said that I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his suffering. Be made conformable unto his death. Amen. That shall be your attitude. Kambabu. Bombaye. Shenyamiasem. Because preaching of Bebina. Pentecost was Robina. Unyami Yusuf me power. Sadan. The power of God was so great. Mireya. Kwanabaya. Obibu Zanze. Uko me tell Ah. Now then Apostle said no. There's a message that means to me you should be an I even got angry. Just say, method is in your name, you should say. I'm saying, that is, that is ignorance. Hallelujah. That is ignorance. Are you saying that means to me you should be an idiot? That is ignorance. And because we have despised ourselves, other churches can rise up and say, method is in your name. Where do you crusade be on your name? Madina. 
Madina, and I could be yet interpretation. And I saw for the say, I am referring to the Orthodox churches. Now, I mean, in a very, now, I mean, not in a malicious manner. I feel like I'm going to interpretation. I'm sorry, yeah. Many of me try as soon as soon as soon as soon as that is his, his understanding of uh, no orthodox churches. His understanding of orthodox churches means as soon as soon as Can you imagine? Let us be mindful of that. Number four. Maybe let me say this before. The incarnation of Jesus Christ is an important, essential example, and must inspire us to enter into the world of the youth and offer Christ to them in a way that appeals to their cultural perspective and ways of interpreting events around them. This is a mandate that professionals in the church can deliver effectively and creatively to spare youth development in the areas of qualitative, professional, and spiritual formation. And I'm happy to know that Brother Emmanuel Ohu, he was in Medina Methodist, and then they started here many years ago, and he became the first caretaker. And before he, he died, he was also a caretaker of Brekusu Methodist. That is evangelical. Someone who was evangelical, no, I no, awakened. He was invalidated into awakening everywhere crusade and that's what we have done in tema one of the thriving circuits in the methodist church is tema manzayo methodist we were originally all in manzayo methodist manzayo sakumono oh brother Oh, 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 me who grow, God bless you. But your woman said, Man, man, hey, you watch your pub, you say, I don't share. Yeah, yeah, keep it, not your boss of penny. I'm telling you, keep it, those days. I mean, you know, in fact, it's a long time who want to be in the Ushagra. Manzayo Methodist, they, they embark on it, was a very spiritual church. I am telling you, I'm going to be a crusade, a war, a Yashibi, and any, and any young Ebenezer Methodist. I'm going to say, I could be a war. Twintasu, you from Gethsemane Methodist. I must say, I could be your ever a last be from home. It's called Emmanuel Methodist. Go and see these churches. One church. Now, young, you see, yeah, yeah, circuit. Emmanuel who enter on my circuit. Last be is also a sorry. Gethsemane is also a big church. One church. And another crusade. Ever you know, Kragon. One church. Omu about five or six big churches. One church. Because the minister at that time, let me mention his name, Reverend Joe Atta. Reverend Duata, very spiritual guy. And he, 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 he empowered the youth. He empowered the professionals. And we went out to preach. And that's why we have many churches in that area. So we cannot underestimate the importance of professionals uh, in creativity and exposure. The next, the next point, role modeling and mentoring. Role modeling and mentoring. Furthermore, professionals in the Methodist Church Ghana can serve as role models and mentors for younger members of the congregation. Many young people look up to professionals in their faults and aspire to emulate their successes. By having professionals in leadership positions within the church, younger members can see firsthand the importance of faith in their professional lives and how it can enrich their personal and professional growth. Professionals can also offer valuable mentorship and guidance to younger members who are just starting out in their careers. This can help to build a strong sense of community within the church and foster intergenerational relationships that are vital for the long-term growth and success of the church. Robot and mentoring. I'm happy that this church, you have a number of professionals and mentors and the youth. What are they? It's important to learn from some of these people. At least I know about three. Let me mention the three I know. One is the young man here. One is the young man here. One is the young man here. I remember those days, prayer, prayer, they have been very consistent from 1995, as he said, up to today. A professor, not of ordinary university, but University of Ghana. Ghana had the university of Legonkwa, whether you like it or not, that is, that is my, my view. Ghana had the, see, a university, a university of Ghana. Nia can you know, I agree a different matter, mommy. Joanna Wahanum, Joanna came to campus. I was there as a small girl. Joanna saw him here. He was a small girl. Now he's a lecturer. Daughter, you're the putu. Can you imagine? Hey, hey, oh my God, oh my God. Bibi Wahanum. 
Bebrei. Amen. So I'm happy to be here. These are young people who have been so consistent with God. And the Lord has elevated them. Amen. And I know you have so many professionals here. I know. So you should serve as examples to the young ones. Young ones, watch them. Watch their lives. Watch their lives. If you want to be great. And let me tell you a secret. If you want to be great, you must learn from great people. Take note of that. Young people, if you want to be great, learn from great people. Let me give you an example. <laughs> Joshua, he learned from Moses. And he became a leader after Moses' you know, exit. Elisha and Elijah. Am I right? Elisha and Elijah. And if you want to be a great person, please learn from great people. And very important. Very, very important. So to take note of that, learn from the examples. So please, I want the professionals here to serve as mentors for the young people. The young people, learn from them. Very, very important. One of the notable features of the church that is following biblical pattern, its ministry, is that, is that it is priestly led but lay driven. The purpose of the fivefold ministry, which, man, which, uh, which mandate is to be delivered by the red ministers in the context of the military church, is to equip the laity for works of service within the missionary task of the church. This is what Ephesians chapter 4 tells us. It is also the trust of the theme of the year. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 8 to 12, the Bible says that when he ascended unto the heavens, he gave gifts unto men that some should become apostles, prophets, teachers, evangelists, for the building up of the church, for the education of, no, of ministry, till we all become, till we all become equipped in Christ's manner. Let me, let me sum it up that way. If we read about Ephesians 4, which I've mentioned, Apostle Paul was saying that in the church, we should have all these ministries, pastors, prophets, evangelists, teachers, so that the church will be built up. In the same way, in the church, like resurrection, we should have all these professionals so that the church will be better equipped unto ministry. So take note, uh, that is the, uh, room, uh, the room modeling and the mentoring. Number five, pooling of resources. A youthful church is that one that appeals to the younger generation of worshippers. Churches that attract the upwardly mobile youth have settings that evince a sense of professionalism with the state of the art, media, and sound systems. It is not for nothing that the Church of Pentecost had to start their international worship centers. This was done to create an avenue for all the important reformation that the church needed to make, but they realized, but they realized could not be accommodated in their old ways of ministerial practice. As I said, I've mentioned that pool of resources, it's important for all of us to pull resources and be able to actually uh, fulfill our ministry. And, I'm, no, and the point I'm making is that if you look at the Church of Pentecost, those days, so many, you know, resources were there. The women who had to cover their heads, as you are aware. They were not supposed to wear certain things. But when, you know, as time unfolded, the Church of Pentecost saw that a time will come that those initiatives will not suffice. So immediately, they started the International Worship Bible Centers, which allowed the youth to have that interest. And as we speak now, it is one of the things that has actually propagated the church, that is the International Worship Center. So please, uh, the church, let us be mindful of that and also follow suit. However, the key factor here is that all the necessary change processes that we need to put in place to achieve the goal of building and mature in a youthful church require heavy financing. In this regard, without starting any particular church, there are so many churches around who have organized their professionals and intentionally intensified their resource pooling models through them. The professionals serve both as financiers and resource linkers who connect the church to other people within and without their fold, who love the Lord and are willing to support any worthy cause of the church. The last point I want to raise is redevelopment of the lay ministries. That is another benefit that the professionals and the youth can bring about to our church. One of the notable features of the church that is following biblical pattern is the, is the ministry. Is the ministry one of the notable features of a church that is following biblical pattern for ministry is that it is priestly led but lay driven. 
The purpose of the fivefold ministry, which mandate is to be delivered by the Red Ministers in the court of Methodist Church, is to equip the laity for works of service within the missionary task of the church. Now, there is therefore an urgent need to redevelop our concept of lay ministries and professionals, uh, and professionals can lead in this regard. Through the testimony of our leadership, for example, we can inspire the upcoming generation to understand the value of combining our professional duties with our spiritual responsibility. This will resolve the problem of majority of the laity serving only as pew warmers on Sundays and become effective tools for evangelism and so we need. Now, let me cite a few examples of professionals who contributed to the church in the Bible and I will end my presentation. The Bible is replete with evidence of professionals who contributed to the work of God in several ways. The following are just a few examples. Number one, Basile and Ohiliab. Exodus chapter 31. God appointed Bezalel and Uhuliam as skilled as craftsmen to oversee the construction of the tabernacle. Their expertise in craftsmanship was crucial in creating a place of worship that was both functional and beautiful. So the first example we learn is Bezalel and Uhuliam. Exodus 31. They were professionals and God appointed them to design the tabernacle and to build it. Number two, Paul the Apostle. Paul was a skilled tent maker by profession, but he also served as a missionary and church planter. His professional skills not only provided for his own needs, but also allowed him to be self-sufficient and focus on spreading the gospel without being a financial burden to the churches. So that is another point. Number three, Lydia. Acts chapter 16. Acts 16. Lydia is described as a dealer in purple cloth. She used her professional skills to support Paul and his companions in their ministry in Philippi. Her financial support and hospitality allowed the early church to spread the gospel in that region. Number four, Priscilla and Aquila. Priscilla and Aquila were tent makers by trade, but they also played a significant role in the early church. They hosted house churches, discipled other believers, and even corrected the theological misunderstandings of Apollos. Acts chapter 18, verse 24 to 26. Their professional skills not only provided for their livelihood, but also helped advance the mission of the church. Professionals from the corporate world who are abreast with facts regarding the constant changing of trends in society can help the church to make the needed adjustment to meet the needs of the young people. So, resolution. As I said, you have professionals of our century. Don't despise them. Allow them to bring their professional skills and expertise to bear so that it will impact on the church. Let me tell you, if you look at any church and you don't have professionals, the growth is also diminished, I'm telling you. Any time you see a church without professionals, you see that things are not the way that they should be. But when a professional on board, things are different. Please allow them to place their professional skills you know, uh, at the disposal of the church of God. In conclusion, in conclusion, it is worth mentioning that all is not lost. We still have a lot of young people in the church. We learned about the very Reverend Professor Emeritus, Joseph Osei. Let me pay this tribute to him. He was the one who preached at my wedding. Professor Osei preached at my wedding on the 5th of April, 1997. And that time he was teaching at the University of Ghana. Somebody was supposed to do my wedding and he fell sick. One, I mean, the minister fell sick that week. So we had to fall on him. And he gladly came to the Theological Seminary and then preached. You remember? He preached at that wedding. This is the man who sacrificed his life. He was brought here in 1994 as the first minister. In 1997, the society was integrated. And he also supported Brother Ewu to find this current place of worship. These are men who have contributed their quotas to the advancement of the church. It is my prayer that all of us also do same. Contribute. We should be, we should be, we should you know, let our lives you know, count. Let our lives count. Let us do something for, for God so that when we are, you know, we are also gone, we'll be remembered for what we did. It is essential, it is essential for the Methodist Church to have a program for empowering and supporting its professional members and create opportunities for them to contribute their skills and talents towards the growth and development of the church. 
Let me come back earlier. When they started, when Brother Ewu started, you started with 47 adults, 10 youth, uh, sorry, 10, uh, you know, children. And within a space of three years, the number doubled to 250 adults and one sister is no children. This is a remarkable improvement within a space of three years. Look at what they did. I don't know whether you are still doing evangelism here. Are you doing it here? Evangelism. Serious evangelism. Serious evangelism. You heard about what we have been doing every year. It is not one day's wonder. We started from 1994. Every year we are in the village. Every year we are in the village. We have won many, many, many souls. If, I, if we were to form a church, I would have been a bishop by now, I'm telling you. Because we have planted many, many churches also. All over. This year we are going to Kumasi, we are going to Konongo. If you already come and join us to the village and share God's word. During the Easter, come there and see what the Lord is doing. So let us copy from the examples of the founders of the church. Reverend Professor Osei, Brother Emmanuel Owu. Finally, please, bear in mind that in whatsoever endeavor that you find yourself, your relationship with God matters most, not your service. Take note of that. Whatever work you are doing for the Lord, your relationship with God is the number one before your service. If you're only serving God, I mean, if you're only serving the Methodist Church, serving resurrection, you have not made it. Your relationship with God is number one before your service. It's my prayer that the Lord will bless us and keep us and make us worthy disciples so that when he comes in his glory, all of us will be caught up to meet him in the air. He is the general overseer and the bishop of our souls. May the Lord bless you. And I thank you so much. I pray that the grace of God will fall upon this church. And from today, as we celebrate the 30th anniversary celebration, you move forward in prayer in the word of God and evangelism. God bless you. Amen. I hope I've been taking too much time. I've taken my time. God bless you. Another applause for our speaker. We have 15 minutes for questions and answers. Um, the procedure is going to be, we'll take three questions, and then after answers are provided, we'll take another set of three questions. So, um, MC, if you can help us with the mic so that um, um, we can start our question time. If you have a question, you can raise up your hand, and then we'll bring the mic to you. Right, okay. You have to come and speak to you or something. Uh, come and add you to the English or something. As I said, we'll be once as in Bisebia. We was in Bisebia. You bet you mean, sir, no way we are not just a Yasinaji. Me and sub you. No question. Okay, I think I will set the ball rolling. Um, Mr. Speaker, um, one of the anthem in the church is Yenyenidem. Hello? As method is Yenyenidem. As against one of your major points, innovation, change, and growth, how do we manage the two? The method is this is how we go about it. You talked about how the young people left the Methodist church because not that the other churches were spiritual, but they were able to model their worship in a way that it was very attractive to the young people. So we, we are a church with some traditions, but we also need change and some innovation in order to meet current needs of our members. How do we manage that against maintaining the principles of the church? Thank you very much. Uh, as I said, I made mention that tradition is the worst enemy of civilization because it, it has no regard for current knowledge. 
Mr. Samuel, we are not throwing away the tradition of the Methodist Church, no way. But if you recall, in the 80s, they were order of service beer. They say, I am a kick, I am outmoded. Some of you are not so fancy, some of you are baby. Now, you do a beer as a bonica. Some of you are not a bonica. Bonica, or two for Yankupon, Yen Sureja, or no quiet fatashi, your prayer was a prayer cumem, what has asam? Sadly, and you are relevant to you. And you are relevant. You go to God and tell God what you have done against God and ask forgiveness. Mebona. And you know, if now say obi ajai, obi ajai sadika. And we are saying that the traditions of the church will be kept. But Mr. Lemu, Mr. Lemu, you need to embrace yourself for a change. Anya sadia ebedi. Since when the young people started speaking in tongues, it is na employee phone be e di di atem. Say, yeah, my friend, you're going to be a bad dose. Kaya masaka, kaya babo kaya. Because my papa, how are me? My late father, bra me bra ye. Osi ma kofa tong subi abba me kaya pa latek ya pim. My father is easy. I am telling you, tong subi yau and then we na mukato poka tong. My father is na mukato tong zina. Kaya masaka, kaya be kara kuya. Yeah, because when I was a judge, na me tu kwamba kwa. Now, so upon so, so upon one, well, so upon your papa, so you are at the bungalow, bed of midnight, prof, a swamp by Miss Radino, or be any crew, and I'm starting a candoria massacata, one of my chakra, candoro massacata, my chakra. I'm telling you, to edify myself spiritually, amen. Change, we are here. Deliverance is required now in the church. First, we go all night, it's here all night. We keep our traditions. Let us embrace ourselves for change. And the change must not be too radical also. The change must not be radical to create problems. You for also, you are very important. But by God's grace, in our own small way, we have made significant at least contribution to the church. They left. They left. Na ye could bo or your all night bina will be my prophecy. Prophecy to edify the church. Oh, we are now say woman woman for no covers or yare high fee by no. Today prophecies are all over. I don't know what if our prophecies here. But let me tell you, man Zion, me boy up okay. Santa after serious worship prophecies all over. And God is blessing people. Amen. Please, we need to blend. The change might not be radical, but the, the elderly must embrace themselves for a change. Mr. Lemu is very important. So, see, the Methodists are sorry. The order of worship are changing. Uba, yeah, Ebenezer Methodist Church. This time, no, even though we keep the uh, order of service, no. Yeah, yeah, Kakrebia, near yeah, yeah, prayer, prayer, cry. We don't go through the order of service. Yeah, Jinasi, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's pray on this issue. Let's pray on this issue. Yeah, we are near praise and worship. Not word number. I don't know the Sanamoya and Hanswa. And the end can be some of your Biana Nayano, says here, Jim. We have modified it in a way to meet the needs of everybody. And if I show change is key. Change is key. As I said, tradition, I repeat, is the worst enemy of civilization because it has no regard for current knowledge. Never change it. We need to change. Amen. Yeah, so let me add to it that principles must remain, but practices can change. Amen. Uh, if you want to ask questions, you can come forward, then we will give you the mic. Or you have the mic. Okay. Yes, sir. You have to ask a question. All right. Now we are taking three because of time. One, two, three people, then he will provide answers. Then we take another set. Thank you very much, Doc. Uh, we are most fortunate to have you today. Um, but you make a key. Master, I say, said the okay professionals here. I want a master for the name. Then so make a certain set of work. Yeah, a head thing to identify professionals here. I come as a me because a certain man of dos winning winning a dying so bo yebe yebe bo dying so on fan of home mama yin who say when he said he bo dying so 
and answer say oh yeah architect i'll be to me aboa i'm a yard draw plan who nima na fee uh one child mark of who are bunting now only i could not buy eh you know i saw it then so yeah 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 for a yeah now i yeah you into a bed and you know professional so no i'm a yeah to me uh eddie oh my yeah you must say yeah 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 this my question is i want to find out that hello okay. hello right please i wanted to find out that as a young person if you want to bring new innovations or you are exposed to them and maybe it's not being accepted in your church in, or in this church what should be your question or how should you go about it thank you The third questioner. There's a hand up over there. Yes, we see, I see. We are Kasa professionals, and we are innovations. We are Kasa professionals, and we are entrepreneurs. We are metalists, and we are going to introduce businesses. We are going to establish one year, and we are going to be a year. You bet me, you have a policy no, because you didn't say you say unemployment, unemployment. Sometimes it's not even say ah, you will stress is the brain, but you join school, school, school. Or be a person or your business are not join school. And you need to me establish businesses. You need to me go into production. Now you employ, yeah, yeah, sorry, because you just ah, sorry, that can can be brain, ah, sorry, that stress is the brain. And so you so unemployment. It is. Next to me, dear. Thank you. Right. Okay. Okay. So, Mr. Jeffrey, Mr. Georgina, Georgina, Mr. Georgina, can you know? Georgina, Mr. Then you know, asofumba. Problem is, who could hear you? Maybe not go far. Asoroma, what you want? What you want to create? But you want to change. So, who could be a juma? I was resolved she had no. Na wako fa zoroshe mabegu ajwani mwa wafya wajwani kuregu. Ena mekaye karata. Let me keep this. Karata and spirituality, they are two different matters. You may be spiritual and don't have karata. And only a case of four people out in Ghana. A number of people have, you know, the charisma. Karata niho. But power without purity will also destroy your life. Young people, listen carefully. Power without purity will destroy your life. I saw no one because we are making matters in Kwa, the Church of God. Me na yana bajo me ni ni matters in Kwa because me huma just say we talking about the church. And some one just say if you fall, we must have you no cry for us. Of course, just say you don't so cry for us. That's the way I see for. Sometimes I don't know say what answer. Who say you have problem with people in the church more than even the people you have at your workplace? I don't know what say what they are meaning. Confusion, a kajiro, onye juma da. What they said be more obeguno. And think that they are okay. The and then say something we have said. The church can establish businesses all over. But let me tell you, if the church establishes businesses, we are for professional people and trainer. You be serious, sir. Since here there is a policy center, all the societies, or many credit union. I don't know. Say do ha. What you mean do ha? Do ha? Ah, is it is it no? Is it working properly? Ah, I've been required to be called to facility, my boy. Obiaji, I'll try there. But you want to yes, yes, no. My boy, so I've been required to know now. I'm budget facility. I'm not here. I'm not going to make it. Obiwo ha, I'm sorry. Credit union. I'm going to be on trial. On trial. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm going to be on trial. I don't think that you are going to be on trial. Eh, not going to be. Then so. Let me tell you something. You see modern, in fact, ultra modern tower. Eh, oh, Ebenezer Methodist. But I don't know, sir. Ebenezer, where? To be honest with you, my main case is Moyukra. I have been before at Tibun for a year. Me ba hamrebi. I don't know what brought me here. Eh, eh, them say Obi, Obi, you know, Obi wedding. I don't know. Eh, ye, na lady be eh, oh, Amahira. Omo ye wedding no have a baby. So na Amahira is no under this age. Me ba na me betu say. Amana, Kalan de Biamaye, 
I will not rest or sleep until I provide a place for the Lord. Okay. I am the and I may be for Ebenezer for six years. You have harvest up to today. Or be of Ebenezer, like I said, you harvest him every year for the past six years. The same with him. I will not rest or sleep until I provide a place for the Lord. Now, we have put up, you know, five story, I mean, five uh, modern, you know, uh, tower. Efepa. Efepa. Method is gonna party. You can say, "Dan Efa, yeah, they're coming." When they say, "Me can't," me, 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 we went through tender, professionals, professionals. We went through tender, competitive tender. We be a winner, and they say, "What be your project?" No. Fortunately, I'm not a winner. Contrast thing in our matters in the beginning. Aye, pa. I bought all my projects. I can't tell pa. I can't ye. I can't ye amaye. It means now. I saw the human body until our lives are transformed. And ye is this ah. The church must come out of the project. When I was a lawyer for the Methodist Church, there were two examples of leaders, society stewards. I saw the property. Why a memory Methodist? I want to say it here because it, you know, because we went to the court to actually contest this matter. Stewards be our mobile. They took the church's property. I am telling you. As as I can be power. Papa, what is here? So we have to go to court on this matter. Coco memory method is what I see here. Meka, meka na. Coco memory. I'm the better method as I said. We have to go to court on this matter. There are many examples church leaders have taken over the church's property. Omafa. And then because the and you know say Obia or Obia is Christian. What? Georgina. Don't think everybody here is a Christian. Opa, you have a mistake. Na na mobile phone. Jana abu mbi asisi ni video city. And they are saying, "Makenye." So use professionals. Our advice: If you want to do any project, use professionals. I will never advise. Say, "Yanka say, hey, when the method is in India, famanu, it will not work." That's number one. Number two, sister, Mister Kitole Kasimbi, I say, if you have any new idea, innovation, be up, sister Owe. It depends upon the way you communicate your view. Or your 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 idea, but so when you do it humbly, when you do it professionally, when you do it, you know, I mean, in, in a way that is acceptable. I have shared so many ideas with the leadership of the church with all humility. I've shared so many ideas. Some are some have implemented. Not only the current presiding bishop, even from Professor Iman Asante. I started sharing some ideas with him. He started implementing those churches. I mean, those ideas. And I mean, by God's grace, and today is the way you should present your university. If you have any idea, my leader, I'm the prof. Because my leader, prof, my leader, by the government, I'm leader. Because I always want to go to them also for to share ideas with him. And most of the things that I share are being implemented and they are working. So the way you communicate your ideas very important. Finally, last but not least, near Dr. Bomakayano, Papa. Your churches directly know honum. If you want to see the professionals, I remember who will be wah. But just say database. Yeah, you can church directory. Obia di wom, obia number wom, obia wom. Ne mo me siramo. Anyo obia ne beti maye juma ma asori free. But patron fi antu etri. Anyo obia ne beti maye juma ma asori free. As he rightly said, I work for the Methodist Church this years, not as a full-time lawyer. I was doing my own work and I was helping the church. If you go to the Wesley house, nobody will tell you that I even took a penny from the church. Not one day. Six years, I was going to court, whole court. Near was assembly, whole court. Before we are court, I will travel on my own and use my own car, my own fuel. It's something I decided to sacrifice for the church. But you'll be an abandoned, sir. So when you are engaging professionals and you have to pay them, pay them, Mr. Ramu. 
pay them. And you be out say, Yeah, you this hard. And can any day, and can you know, organize, and as opening another, they will do this for free, me boy. And they might change it, and make things have changed. And can they, all the organists were school masters and they were playing for, for free? Somebody, me to be who's had your heart. You're about to drum the crowd, we say, You tried to cut, and I'm your heart. Had this time, you're about to drum the crowd, you tried to change it. What about you, Papa? It will not work. What does he Michael, everybody wants to be paid, Papa. It's a nice say, a young man, you'll be a bench. Muncho. And that is part of the things that we are talking about. Things have changed. And the Uber Bia, the CIA, I said, poor fans, he was for Omoja allowances. He was for Edi allowances. There, Osha Sumojana, Osha Soja allowances, and Osha Snu. Hans Omojana, Omoja allowances. Obia allowances. And not just say, what was said in a big man, I paid here, I could do. So I just hear. And she said that here. And the Mishramu. Uh, you identify the, them through the, the church directly, and where you need to pay them, pay them. But I will never advise. Say, Muye Bibia, because the assortment, you have a man, sometimes go through the normal thing, professionalism. Bibia, and the Beneze Bia, I see there's no church member who has been involved in the project for six years. Metia, so as a maintain. Assortment will be a business here and there. Go through tender. If you win, you win. Where we near, Uba corporate life, as an Ayano. If, if you come to the corporate world, be a tender. Investor of Ghana, be a tender. We don't single so, no, I be so so something. Say, you have a talk us. May the Abba will bend on Dr. Efutu. Who never talk us in my end? There be corporate governance, Abba. Corporate governance. And we must begin to practice corporate governance in the church. Papa, Yapa. This time, we are so for Uba leaders with one can here. People will challenge you. And young Kadena, hey, Papa, you need to ask it. you better challenge you. The can ye Ubali that's meeting one can ye people will challenge you and can it yeah yeah so far can papa can yeah 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 this time and go first young ma and go for near be or got a papa what's a minute and I saw baby they cannot accommodate this I'm telling you many ministers cannot accommodate it they are fighting but be back leaders with us or can I do say or challenge you know not just then can you something yeah the boss of them and yeah 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 okay and I just so papa and I it will not work it will not work so please New ideas have come on board. Let us embrace ourselves. May God bless you. Amen. I'm saying, a online four questions. Uh, are you ready for the online? It be, it, there, it be an answer. Then um, I want to ask one controversial question before we, we, we end. Um, Mr. Speaker, um, Methodists are sorry. We have a lot of organizations. Is he a plus for us? Or a minus for us. Methodists, your yeah, organizations be brief. Is it a plus for us? And I say a minus. Research VT. If you have more than four organizations in the church, the church will not grow very fast. I don't know about that. So uh we have been doing to tight corner. If you said be and ka sabi, all these organizations are serving specific purposes. In Kenya, the bonny cry. Now, as to whether they are living up to their themes and their objectives and wishes, and then here, and I'm kind of say, organization, and for Uncle Heaven, to be honest with you, and can't cry. Your relationship with God. Unfortunately, baby, so I organize this, eh, Omunyami, and any unfortunate issue in a woman. Ah, a bit about organization, fine, but oh, my sorry. I don't know, say, waha. A bad Melkua, or your article Melkupa, so I sort of call I'm sure. When you mean tell me the answer to organization, organization in Yapa, yeah, no If you say, and to acquire a woman today, so I mean, I'm trying my baby. Man, so she be brave, woman be brave. You say hi, oh, man, me for me, the answer, me come here, me me the, me me the. I had to be in the hand, but when I saw my phone, I said, my phone, man, so me, just me the answer. We say me the, me come, me the answer, me the answer. She say, I say, yeah, yeah, competition, me pay the sir. But if we can all bring, you know, you know, our resources together, if we can all, you know, leverage on our individual talents, there, they are and can actually into organize any money, provided they are living out of expectation. That is all. The way they are, me personal money there. If you say, if they can live out of expectation, now Obia, a little bit of stigma, 
But as to whether that is being done is another matter. So I'll leave it in the hands of individuals. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Another wonderful applause for our speaker. Um, I'm a Ghana Dangbi, and um, I was born in Accra, but I'll speak Chi in terms of my closing remarks. <laughs> um, say the leadership of the church any organizers, no my idea, pa, in terms of the lecture, ne, the topic, ne, any BBR, and from the discussion, I am saying, I see, I am a BBR. I am a dosso. I have three BBR rooms. Benefits now, okay, and I have two BBR rooms. I have three BBR rooms. I have three, but. Um, the first one, and any major point, but very important. We are professionals. And I think that that's a very important point. Irrespective of what you do, you can contribute your quota to the development of the church. Um, yeah, 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 program, no, mic, no call off. So we need somebody with a skill to help us with the mic. Without which, we can't have a very meaningful lecture this evening. So our skills, whatever we have, if we put it at the disposal of the Holy Spirit, it will help to grow the church. Amen. And we have a bonus point. One major point ah, okay, I'm so happy about it is innovation, change, growth. Principles must remain. Some time ago, no telephone, no nesifie, ni ayene, kring. Most of the young people did not come to meet that kind of thing. The principle of talking to somebody somewhere else is still there, but now we have what? Mobile phones. Those of us in the church, yenye ni dem, then don't use the mobile phone too. Oh, method is yenye ni dem, then you also don't touch the mobile phone. But if you have changed from what we used in the past, and you are using the mobile phone, then it means that we can modify the way we do things so that we can meet the needs of the members of the church. There's one great businessman, Jack Walsh, General Electric, he said something. He said, when the rate of change on the outside exceeds the rate of change on the inside, death is near. If there's an organization and you are not changing, you will die. Change is important. Innovation is important. Amen. The second point, which was also very key, our okay, leadership. Leadership. And we know, okay, you bring a minister to a church and then the church is growing. You bring another minister and then the church goes down. The same way, you, you get executives for MYF, the, 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 the organization is growing. You bring another set of executives and then the new fellowship goes down. So leadership is key. And any church that wants to develop and be very competitive should look at leadership development on all fronts. Leadership development. John C. Maswell see everything rises and falls uh, on leadership. And then the final point, uh, okay, or see, do not underestimate the capabilities of the young people and the professionals in the church. Amen. Amen. A little mentoring, a little development, and the young people will do all the work in the church for you. Let's create the right environment for our young people. Let's encourage them. Let's give them some, some freedom. Let's conduct worship for them the way they want it. If they want to jump into the sky, allow them. And that will lead to growth in the church. And I pray that with all that we have learned this evening, we will be great ambassadors for Christ. God bless all of you.
Shall we give a round of applause? <laughs> we would invite Nana Ifwe Japon to give us a vote of thanks. Yes, Mr. Asa. First, we would like to thank the Almighty God for bringing us this far, for making this day for us to be inside. And then we like to thank Sapopayim for making it possible for us to have this lecture. We want to thank the other ministers as well. Now we would like to extend our profound gratitude to our guest speaker. We truly appreciate your time and we take everything you taught us into consideration. We want to thank the leaders of the church and the members of the 30th anniversary committee for making this meeting possible for us. Now, we want to thank all of us for gracing this occasion. We couldn't have done it with all of us without us being here. Yamin Shayenila, amen. Offering time. Please let's take our offering as we ask Sengemban to lead us.
Yes, it is. But I a few notices here. We are now soft penny, shall I so now wish I in a yediaka soft penny say a mammy take you roll call ni beam. But now soft look is a mean takey na suma for a coffre a you for a befremunty mean takey. But soft penny say also no a buffo in tino or the natapa and a catasso. So penny mo aha you could in su. I was speaker, speaker, uh, 400,000, if you 200, not 200, that you come or say one fourth of the 200 na cano, wa fa evoka. That is 50,000 Ghana cities. <laughs> Dr. Don Konya Mishrao, Mishrao was a man, you know. And you may in a year can say, they say, anniversary na ni gusuno, etchna, a empire, but the Bible bomb pie, na, the memory da. When him say a grand day, a year that I saw it then Eddie Bishop, any I saw him pay for him, na be badai as he see, na ba be techi. He share anniversary. That's a Saint Claus. That's a Saint Claus. Saturday. And then he be share. Na the Sunday, then so. Ya ko traditional. Na ye tutu kente Papa B. Eddie be fiha. Ya kai ya honso say. Uh, Saturday, best at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Yeah, yeah, no, I saw the day more. Uh, uh, interesting, go for we be a dream. You almost say a bear and a bunting. Mr. Emma, you better not saw the day more. Eh, you never was saw the day more near tomb. Now, Bishop, a beer dino. Now, over by near your womb, the Dania, a parade, or a bunting, and say, your baby be out with them because I will say, or sanctify or tan a baptismal font, and yeah. Pulpit near the Umbaini, a baby be our demaha. Na yet the Diaka to us, none of Christia done and so Yada a radiasi. A memory done and said a TB, I be try a noom. Ah, ye dear anniversary, dear, or see a dear radiasi night, ye afternoon so think can say, ye dear anniversary, and tea a bairn is a pepe. Yamin Shira Yinna. Oh, Miss Yamin Shira will make you at a eh, mo, 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 mo. Above. But your buffo could see aqua and no ribbon. Correct. Hey, oh, your buffo, see? Eh, eh. Oh, buffo. It was a four man, sir. Na, it's Rasso. Better bra, why is he? Obon Pire Kakra na Ozema, a chairman, na a speaker. I ah, yet to from my obesity, my enim was a my aim. We were no one can be betrayed or as a farmer or as a sinner. When you may see now, when you see a woman, I'm a debut. I'm a debut. Ya turn suffro on war resurrection. A hen and pie ball a man when a drake in a baby. And if we are also able to make that the one I see. Well, they will bomb pay as I'm on. A memo when on qua. A memo when I see snapper. So, what a qua, a me on unco. So what about Yami Honumbra? Yami so one of Munjina. So a town furnished the shape yara one of one, Yami Pungu. On sees you on a pay, a man and Cassano. And a pay a summer razzed to our commodore, a year born home pay day. Also, a best shen up of him, Brawano. A mouth town for Biara. I'm fun and sang, come on. 
ama wanfa wanama na mwanumpo anfa mpimo obo. Ine raza shishe wazama namba. Nsi ya imede hene ya meba ye. Hene ya mebo kura wan. Hene ya mebo so wanumu. Ejina. Fa wumpa ya boye bayre ye. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that together you may be with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Razi Bokra will crowd. The Razi Bokra will defeat no fear battle. Who feeds the Mabiri the Kasidapim? Amen. The Razi in Homansana. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Adolf wants an ask. So we end the service for today. The program for today has been one of those programs. And I believe we have all learned something which we are going to live by it. By the grace of God. And see, Yapo of Asum Junko. Dismiss. I don't bacho Obi Safwa Obi Safwa Ababi Dimiho and Tino say, Usif Safwa Ewaha. I mean, should I?